Oh, hey, hi, hello. I am filming in my own little corner, in my own little chair, where I can be whatever I want to be. For some reason, New York just wants to have the gloomiest weekends of all time this month, and I'm really not here for it, but it is what it is, and I just gotta respect that. I have a lot to do this weekend in terms of grad school related stuff. So I thought I'd have you come along with me while I give you a bit of a, I don't know, like a bit of a life update, grad school check-in. Gotta read so many things, so many things. And then um, I need to work on a presentation that's technically due next week, but I need to send in my first draft on Monday. And I just wanna have it almost practically complete before I send it in, so I don't need to worry about it as much for the following week before I present. I'm weirdly sleep deprived, but I slept through the night last night. Definitely got eight hours. It's super gross outside and it's still rainy. So I'm thinking once the rain subsides, I will take myself to a little coffee shop because I don't have any coffee. There's a new place that just opened, uh, right around the corner so i want to go and check that out but before then i'm gonna chill here read a bit let's hang out Alrighty, we are in she always knows when i start filming apologies if you hear any rustling um boo is doing her thing one of the classes that i'm taking is theater history pretty self-explanatory we talk about the history of theater and basically the best way to really uh, basically like look into it is just reading the plays from the time. Monday we're gonna be going into the Elizabethan era and instead of our good buddy Will, we're gonna meet up with our friend uh, Christopher Marlowe and read The Tragical History of Dr. Faustus. I read this in undergrad. I had to take theater history in undergrad as well. They said that we could like test out of certain classes if we wanted to, but I have not been in school in Bridger Bridger years. So um, this is a very nice refresher per se. Also, I just have to say the difference between going to a theater history class with musical theater majors and theater majors is mind-boggling. The difference is night and day. I truly haven't read most of these plays since undergrad, so it's nice to revisit them and also visit them in a way that I actually can comprehend these a bit more, slash that I actually care. <laughs> I swear to god, like, if it wasn't musical theater related, we didn't give two shits in undergrad. We didn't give two shits. I tried to care so hard. I tried, but I was like, this is not, this is not holding my attention. And I have so many other things that are due on the same day that are more important. I may need to do cliff notes for this, but I have not done any cliff notes so far. Kanahara, 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 um, for any of my reading, which has been really uh, impressive. <laughs> quite impressive. I, I'm quite surprised. So, yeah, let's read Christopher Marlowe, the favorite Elizabethan anti Semite. Woo. <laughs> So we are about to go to the cafe. I have this like super long dress on that I really like and it makes me feel cozy and it's gross out and I don't really want to feel that cozy while being out in the gross atmosphere. Um, I can't stand my hair at the moment so we are going with a beanie representing the rep. Yeah, the goal is to work on my presentation, praying they have Wi-Fi. And if not, then um, we're gonna read about Vakhtangov. I don't know if I said that right, but he's a guy from Russia. Yeah. 
veg out for a little bit but i wanted to document me eating their maple crawler cruller crawler i don't know i still don't know what that is but it looks very nice and i wanted to document my reaction to it and see if this is worth it maybe it's just the one that i got or it's the inner vermonter meme they could have doused this with way more maple syrup, but not too bad. <laughs> um, hello again. Uh, so this is a little over a week since I last filmed all of that. Um, and I had another uh way of planning it out um but since life happened i thought that maybe it would be good to do a quick check-in right now um it's officially midway the semester of my first year at Amer american the actors studio drama school at pace university um, and, <clears throat> uh, this last week, um, kind of sucked. Uh, it was, uh, I basically had my first, uh, what I call a, uh, basically a manic, uh, how do I even say it? Um, there basically was a moment where uh, I was incredibly, incredibly, I'm tired. Um, I basically had what I call a manic episode. <clears throat> um, my depression was uh kind of overwhelmed me on thursday night and it went into friday and i really didn't want to go to class i didn't feel like it was in any way safe for me to go to class um but i already uh used my free absence the week before and i didn't want to risk dropping my grade because the more classes that i miss uh, the lower my grade gets, and um, at ASDS, they uh, they can uh, remove you from the program if you get anything lower than a B plus in any of your classes. So, um, <laughs> so that's not like absolutely terrifying to deal with, um, but it's also manageable. Um, but because of that stress, and also I felt like last week when I, uh, decided to not go to class due to how uncomfortable I was, I kind of felt a little bit, not guilted for not going to class, but kind of, I got like an email of encouragement, which, um, I'll just say up front, for someone who has major depressive disorder, uh, I would not recommend sending an email to someone with that uh, because it feels like a stab in the heart and very passive aggressive and I don't like that. Um, I don't think I need to flat out say that that class was triggering to me to the point where I felt incredibly uncomfortable to go. So, let's say la vie, la vie on rose, come see, come saw. Um, uh, so, this past Friday, we had workshop. I don't want to go, 
but I felt like I had no choice, um, especially as someone with an invisible disability. Uh, I have had many a time where people uh, rolled their eyes at me or told me to suck it up and deal with it. And, um, you know, after hearing that for 20 something years, um, I'm realizing that that doesn't really work. Who would have thunk? Um, boy, uh, so yeah, um, I was trying to get through the day as best as I can, but, um, during the last 15 minutes, uh, I kind of exploded and I basically, uh, I was very quiet for the rest of the workshop and I left feeling incredibly embarrassed and incredibly ashamed for how I acted. Um, I mean, looking back, it really wasn't anything crazy. It was just me flat out saying I'm having a depressive episode and please don't talk to me. Um, but I honestly don't remember much of the incident because I was too overwhelmed with my emotions basically swirling everywhere in my brain. Um, and all I could think of was, I cannot be here right now. It is not safe for me to be here right now. How the hell am I going to do this when this happens again? So uh, that led to a phone call to my dad. And uh, that led to an email to one of my professors that I felt comfortable informing what was going on, especially since because of this, um, uh, it basically affected my entire weekend, this past weekend, and I did not get an ounce of work done. I spent three hours this morning at 6 a.m. Uh, working on my presentation that was due today, so at least I don't have that in the way anymore, thank goodness, is one less thing I can worry about. Um, and also I was uh, pretty sick and I thought I had COVID, but thankfully I didn't and I still don't. Um, so it's been a bit of a rough couple of days. Um, I am learning that I need to figure out how basically to move forward with all of this going on um, because me bottling it up and waiting for me to implode at any moment um, is not going to work in the future <clears throat> after Friday's incident. Um, and so I need to go and uh, I have I have a plan tomorrow to speak with my therapist and speak with the people at the accessibility services place at the school, because since depression is deemed a disability under the uh, ADA Act, um, we need to figure out some sort of accommodation for me so that I am able to take care of myself when these episodes happen. And that's primarily to make sure that their excused absences and not unexcused absences. And I'm really scared about that because um, either just from my past, either people won't believe me, uh, people will believe me and just say to suck it up um, in a nicer, passive aggressive way. Um, like it all go, it all get better. You'll feel better if you go. I'm sorry, but, um, I've lived with myself for 30 years and I know what's best for myself during these moments. Um, and I have learned that the best way is for me to stay home and to be around my cat. And, um, I feel like I don't need to explain that to anyone. Um, and I feel like I shouldn't be proving to everyone that I am, uh, that I live with a disability and that I live with a disorder that, um, really makes a huge impact on my life. And when it's not being taken care of properly, um, 
it can get really bad. And uh, Friday, it was really bad. So, um, I am working with my dad and uh, with a professor of mine to make sure that I get the help that I need. Um, because honestly, out of all of this, like, the one thing that I'm most embarrassed about is the fact that I did it in front of my peers. And, um, and I feel like I have a sort of, not obligation, but it's the only word I can think of, um, to, uh, basically be in good shape and, uh, show that I'm doing okay and not show my weaknesses like that. Um, to show that I actually do have a hold of myself very well. And so for that to happen on Friday was really embarrassing. Um, everyone has been very uh, supportive and understanding. Um, but still, I personally would prefer to never have that situation happen ever again. Um, and to do that is to figure out some way for me to basically get excused absences when I am feeling low like that, um, because, uh, yeah, my brain is my brain and I can't really, uh, can't really change it as much as I try. Um, I'm taking medication. I have a psychiatrist. I have a therapist. I am A-OK -okay on that front, um, and I am reaching out for help instead of trying to do it on my own, which I think is important because other people need to be aware about the situation. Um, uh, but at the same time, it's very scary because um, when I look back at my track record, when I seek out help in these sort of situations, especially academic situations, um, I usually get pointed towards the counseling center. And then I'm told that I need to toughen up. Which, believe me, if it was that easy, I totally would. I would be like, yes, go off, queen. I am here. I am tough. Um, but uh, there are days where I literally can't. And the thought of getting out of bed is too much for me. And that's okay. I think that's another thing I need to work on is the fact like, it's okay that I need to take a day off. It's okay that there are moments where I don't even feel like 20% of myself. And, um, and I just need to do this as an extra precaution. And I just hope that people will understand and not see it as me, uh, cultivating an excuse to play hooky because I'm not doing that. I actually really enjoy going to class. I like school a lot um, and I really like my professors. I really like my classmates. I really like the um, community there. So it's not like I'm trying to bail out of class. Um, but I don't, I don't want Friday to happen again. I really don't. So, with all that said, I hope all of you are doing well. I'm going to stop talking now because I sound like Lauren McCall the more and more that I talk. I'm still getting over this cold. Um, so I'm just going to chill out and, uh, eat some chocolate and watch the Annie and probably go to bed early.
Yeah, let's do that. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be safe and at ease and free from harm. And I really hope I'll see you guys soon. Like trying to run a YouTube channel and going to grad school. I don't recommend it. Uh, have a good week.